Okay, not the best of three. <clears throat> Excuse me. The bottom left side, a red Protoss representing Alpha X. It is... Sound. In the top right side, the blue Terran player fighting for Dragon Phoenix Gamers. It is... Uh, cure. <laughs> that was that was less cool than the one for... <laughs> It's experimental, boys. What can I say? Ah, you win and you lose some. Alright, a little probe. A little probe. Looking for what I can find. Not much, except for the beautiful environment here of Data C. Of course, discovered by Mr. Data C in the 12,000 light years of space. The fourth season of the intergalactic orbital periods. Mr. Data C and Mrs. Data C had their lovely honeymoon trip uh, and discovered this place somehow. <laughs> oh, stays hidden. Dum -ba -ba -bum -ba -ba oh no, Mr. Probe! You fell for it. That ah, keeps it alive. That is unfortunate. That Marine was about to veer off, wasn't it? We all saw it. We all knew it. Except for Sound. He didn't. And that's fair enough, because he couldn't see it. Hellion coming across as well for a scout. It's going to be met by the Stalker and a shield battery. Relatively close to those probes, so it's going to be tough for the Hellion to get any, uh, you know, accidental kills. I don't want to call them accidental, but situational uh, damage. It's not going to happen. He gets the scout, he, he gets what he came for. The main objective of his mission, of course, <clears throat> to see what the Protoss is up to. And that Stargate showing its ugly face, so he's going to know that it's uh, it's a Stargate. And he, that is why we're probably going to see a Cyclone. There it is. Okay. Only a single Phoenix here, not going to be able to do much on its own. Other than just kind of scout, figure things out. Now this, this could be doing quite a bit. Most of the units for Zaun are across the map here. And a single Phoenix, again, not the biggest threat. Coming in for those probes. Where are the units for Zaun? He is going to recall his stalkers from the middle of the map. But the Marines cleverly walk away. Trying to target down the stalkers right now. And the drop is going to be dealt with. In a moderate successful fashion. It only kills two probes, but it does feel like the overall work account here is still favoring Cure a bit more than it probably should. Forty to forty workers, not what you want to see as a Terran player here. 
Capitals players should be delighted, however. Uh, sorry, Terran players should be delighted, however. The exact opposite. Just for clar <laughs> clarification. Cure in a good spot. It's going to be rough for those Phoenix now to really get a lot of value either across the map. Two Cyclones are here. Missile turrets being set up left, right and center. And we got a Raven here in between the mix of all of that as well with a bunch of Marines underneath. Zaun, he is going to work his way towards the Colossi after the Phoenix. A logical follow-up. Might lose this Observer quite quickly. You dear. Yeah, that has been spotted. Oh, he managed to get it back into safety. You're giving up on that chase. Might just be because he's uh, looking to push out with his armor units here relatively quickly. There he goes. All aboard. Bringing two extra marauders with him can be quite a handful. Phoenix come in trying to snipe down the raven, but the raven cleverly moves backwards before it gets shot in the face. Hoping to see, actually, well, this is 62 army supply versus 40. A shield battery is present. The Cyclones are up in the sky now, but there's the Interference Matrix. And the Widowmine's free to move forwards. They're going to one-shot gateway units regardless of the shield battery overcharge. And look at those probes going down. That is a tremendous amount of damage. And I don't think it's going to stop there. Was that two Interference Matrixes on that Colossus, or has it just been stuck this entire time well regardless it's dead now a new one comes into the field and guess what it's dead now gg is gold cure takes game number one as well as this a nice little proxy engineering bay right on top of where that nexus would like to be sound none the wiser of this situation of this predicament that he's found himself in. Only now, as he moves down that probe, he is uh, confronted by the fact that there is an engineering bay there. The SCV even trying to be extra pesky following that probe trying to block off another nexus there but not going to be happening to this Protoss. Does manage to avoid that fate. So a nexus is coming up the engineering bay cancelled of course giving uh, free clearance before construction of another nexus <laughs> but uh, it's too late now it's too late now. That Nexus has been placed down, and to cancel it would be a waste of time, really. It's going to take too long for that Nexus to be set up. You just won't have the benefits off of it in time. We got a three racks. Or cure. Interesting. Meaning we'll get a lot of bio forces ready to do a push quite early on. May have a stim already as we do have that tech lab finishing up here with a good amount of gas in the bank. Might even be able to get a uh, combat shield going as well. And then a horde of marines will just be coming for the front line of Zaun there. And Zaun going for Blink Stalkers. Well, he has an opportunity to perhaps 
jump into the main base as Kyo is moving out with his force, or he might be able to... Well, actually, with Stimpak, it becomes a lot more difficult. But there's no Medivac, so if he does get a good kiting going, right, even just forcing out those Stimpaks a couple of times could be a really big deal. But I still a couple of uh, couple of spots later down in the line here. A couple, a couple of steps later down the StarCraft track. Oh, he might lose that adapt. No, he's paying attention. Okay. Good job there. He's not going to let that finish. A good call as there were four Marines ready to shoot him. That is supposedly enough. Reaper doesn't want to give his life just about now, so... Stays in the clear. Blink about to be ready, but so is Stimpak as well as Combat Shield. We're seeing two Marauders at a time being produced as well, and that is a tough one. Depth forces a reasonable chunk of Marine Marauder to move back for a little bit, so that is going to delay that push. It only gets one SCV for the price of it, however. And there we go. These three stocks, this is exactly what he needs. Needs to stay on top of that micro here. Five stalkers, okay. You gotta be careful not to make too many of it, right? Because then if a stim pack still catches them, you're gonna lose too much and you're not gonna be able to defend anymore at home. Um, okay. Okay, still no stim being forced here out of Cure, but he is losing some units now and again. Is that going to be enough, however, as SCVs have been pulled as well? Do we have a shield battery? Yes, we do. Okay, sound. He might be okay. Needs to keep his stalkers on the shield battery. Oh, dear. Still losing a Marat rather rapidly. Shield battery keeping whatever still is available alive for the time being. But shield battery overcharged now done and dusted. But the stalkers, they are enough. Are they enough? Another Marauder shows up. More probes have to be pulled. Oh, it's just barely not enough. It's just barely not enough. Oh, man. It's, it feels like it's the difference of one or two zealots there in the fight overall to either lose, what is it, 16 S uh, probes or not losing any. But, uh, hey, this is this is what we've got right now. And, well, that is an enormous loss being suffered there by Zaun as Cure just kind of waltzes up here. And now, seemingly, has found himself a, a wonderful position to just kind of win this game from. Zaun not done fighting just quite yet. He is picking off Marauders at an alarming rate. However, it's still nowhere near the amount of resources he's lost himself because of that attack. With a bunker here, and again, more than enough bio to defend three Stalkers. I don't see the odds of Zaun here improving. Rather decreasing, losing another Stalker. How could he get himself out of this? He's got the Robo, but he doesn't have a Robo base. So Disruptors, Colossi, that's still quite a ways off. He's going to try again to kind of poke away with these stalkers. It's the one thing he can do. And, oh dear, the natural base doesn't have a shield battery. If he gets up there, yeah, okay, well. Well, that's a wonderful game there by Cure. Lovely quick attack. Another good amount of probes going down. Overall supply is still somewhat equal, but, I mean, it's the workers where the problem is here. The Protoss is supposed to be ahead, and he's now behind with 13 workers. Kyo's not even added on the third base yet, because I, I think he just... He's just on a plan of destruction right now. Decimation of Protoss is on his mind. Okay, there is the third base, actually. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna get delayed. Oh, there we go. It's something. 
It was already delayed on, on Cure's own account, but it's gonna get delayed on Zan's account now as well. Good catch on the Observer. Zan's gotta be careful here with these units. So is Cure though, can't just put everything in Metafax and fly them across uh, Stalker group. That would be a good way to kind of negate whatever advantages he's gotten so far. <clears throat> okay, trying to reassemble. Cure once again here with quite a formidable force of infantry. Those marauders in particular being in high supply. We see charge almost ready. That is going to be a detrimental upgrade. He cannot take this engagement until that is done. Okay, it's done now. Zan moves in onto the Terran units as the Terran units moving into the natural base once again. Not going to preoccupy themselves with the probes this time around. He is in for a killing move. More reinforcements coming in from the back, but they're already dealt with. Marauders uh, getting shot by the Immortals there. As Cure, well, he is going to get his units taken away from him again here. 36 probes in total have gone down, however. More probes have been killed than there is available for Zown in total at the moment. And we are only on a 10 minute mark game. Oof. 51, 52 workers versus the 32. <clears throat> Army supplies being relatively close together. Now that is still an advantage in army supply for the Protoss. As they don't have as much of their army supplies stuck in production tabs. But he doesn't really have a high tier tech army here either. The Immortals are nice against the Marauders. They might be able to do something here, but... Yeah, no, the target fire for the Marines there is just too great. The pulling SCVs realizing he doesn't have to and pulls them back. That is heartbreaking to see here for any Zone fan, I imagine. Pretty cool move here with a couple of stalkers. Yeah. Can't really afford to lose those stalkers at this moment either, but... This is just brutal. This is absolutely brutal. GG. 